Good evening. I will look after my sheep, says the Lord, and I will appoint a shepherd to pasture them. And I, the Lord, will be their God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Dear brothers and sisters, let us bring to our mind our sins and ask God mercy and forgiveness so that we may become worthy to offer this sacrifice. I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of the souls, will that the Bishop St. Francis de Sales become all things to all, graciously and that following his example, we may always display the gentleness of your charity in the service of our neighbor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since the law has only a shadow of the good things to come and not the very image of them, it can never make perfect those who come to worship by the same sacrifices that they offer continually each year. Otherwise, would not the sacrifices have ceased to be offered since the worshipers once cleansed would no longer have had any consciousness of sins? But in those sacrifices, there is only a yearly remembrance of sin, for it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when he came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, As is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifice and offerings, burnt offerings and sin offerings, you neither desire nor delight in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second, but this will we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Amen. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am. I have waited, waited for the Lord. And he stooped toward me, and he put a new song into my mouth, a hymn to our God. <clears throat> Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, 
but ears open to obedience you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, behold, I come. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. <clears throat> your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The mother of Jesus and his brothers arrived at the house. Standing outside, they sent word to Jesus and called him. A crowd seated around him told him, Your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside asking for you. But he said to them in reply, Who are my mother and my brothers? Looking around at those seated in the circle, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of God is my brother and my sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. For the biblical understanding, Jesus' mother and his cousins were outside waiting for him. But Jesus is expanding that blood relation to basically everybody else. And the offer is doing the will of the Father makes you a brother, sister, or mother of Jesus. And that's what we heard in the first reading. And of course, also the, uh, the responsorial psalm. It's all about knowing the will of God, doing the will of God. So more than blood, blood is based basically, uh, that's part of the Old Testament. It's all related to the blood. Descendants and descendants and descendants. But Jesus changes that law. Uh, and here, the key is knowing and doing the will of the Father. and blessings and we ask him to give us the grace so that we may continue to see Jesus in others. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may Christ continue to bless him in shepherding the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may God's wisdom inspire them in protecting life at all stages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are suffering from physical or financial burdens, especially those who have no one to support them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> For all members of this faith community, may the Lord bestow upon us a spirit of unity, charity, and service to those around us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially those who have no one else to pray for them, may the mercy of God bring them to everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Dolly Mae Welker, for whom this Mass is offered, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us offer our own prayers. We fly to thy protection. O holy mother of God, do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed virgin, blessed are you god of all creation for the goodness we have received the bread we offer you for the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed are you god of all creation for the goodness we have received the wine we offer you Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual rank. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Through the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, kindle in our hearts the divine fire of the Holy Spirit, with which you wonderfully inflamed the most gentle soul of Saint Francis de Sales. through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you amen lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the lord our god it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for us on the festival of saint francis you bid your church rejoice so too You strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. So with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, bless apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
it was not you who chose me says the lord but i who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit fruit that will last let us pray grant we pray almighty god that through the sacrament we have received we may imitate on earth the charity and meekness of saint francis de sales and so attain like him the glory of heaven through christ our lord Amen. the lord be with you may almighty god bless you all the father son and the holy spirit Amen. the mass is ended go in peace saint michael the archangel defend us in battle be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him be humbly pray and do thou prince of the heavenly host by the power of god cast into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world seeking the ruin of souls amen let us kneel as we gather together to honor our mother and our perpetual help we recall how she helped others her whole life was a lesson of love mother of perpetual help today we face so many difficulties your picture tells so much about you It reminds us to reach out and help those in need help us understand that our lives belong to others as much as they belong to us mary moral of christian love we know we cannot heal every ill or solve every problem but with god's grace we intend to do what we can may we be true witnesses to the world the love for one another really matters may our daily actions proclaim how fully our lives are modeled after yours mother of perpetual help mary you were a woman of steadfast faith your faith in jesus never wavered model of all believers pray to the holy spirit for us help us not only to accept all your son teaches us but to put the teaching into practice mother of perpetual help help us a child you did not see him only a frail child moved by the holy spirit you accepted jesus as the son of the most high the long awaited messiah following your example of faith help us recognize jesus in those we meet especially the poor and the lonely the sick and the elderly keep us always mindful dear mother that whatever we do to the least of our brothers and sisters we do to your loving son may his words live in our hearts influence our lives the lives of those we meet Let's kneel as we continue our prayers. Mary, humble handmaid of the Lord, we need your example today to discover God's will in our lives. You always gave God the first place in your life, just as you pondered his word in your heart. Help each of us to seek his plan in all that we do. Give us the conviction that nothing is more important than doing the will of our Heavenly Father. May we spend each moment in loving and pleasing him. Help us follow your example in proclaiming, I am the servant of the Lord. I will what God wills, when he wills it, as he wills it, because he wills it. Mother of perpetual help, your picture reminds us that we are to carry our cross as Jesus did. with courage in due injustice abandonment and betrayal pain and suffering even a criminal's death mary we turn to you as our model in suffering and courage you shared in your son's suffering and death now you share in his resurrection we do share in the cross of christ and some day like you we will share fully in his resurrection help us be patient in our suffering and to trust in the loving care of our heaven may those suffering sickness in mind or body experience your son's healing power help us follow his example through him with him in him 
commend ourselves to the care of our heavenly Father. Let us ask Mary to watch over all families. Mother of perpetual help, bless our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bring husbands and wives ever closer together, that they may always be faithful and love each other as Christ loves us. Help all mothers and fathers love and cherish children God has entrusted to them. May they always be models of a truly Christian life. Help all children that they may love and respect their parents. Inspire all people to value Christian marriage, family life. Give us a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our homes, havens, love and peace. Mary, our model, help every family grow daily in genuine love for God, neighbor, so justice and peace may flourish everywhere in the human family. From the first moment of her existence, the Holy Spirit filled Mary with his love. By his power, she became the Virgin Mother of God. Through the same Holy Spirit, she became the perfect wife, the perfect mother. Let us imitate her generosity, her openness to the Holy Spirit and say, Come Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your joy and your peace, with your power and your love, with your constant presence within us. Receive the Holy Spirit. May he be with you to strengthen you, above you to protect you, before you to lead you, behind you to encourage you, within you to possess you totally. Through the prayers of our holy patrons and Alphonses, through the intercession of our Mother of Perpetual Help, through the merits of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ present in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain forever. Amen. Your praises be sing, who reigns now with Christ our Redeemer and King. Children in 